Hello, my name's Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Soulhenge and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now, one of the truths about who you are is that you now have access to the access to fifth dimensional reality at any given moment through your choices. So what I wanted to share with you today was how to access the fifth dimension. And once you've accessed it, how to stay there and how to notice that you are in the fifth dimension. And this is because the fifth dimension is not... It's not something that is immediately perceptible because it's not a matter-based dimension. So it's not like you walk into another room and the walls are different colors. It's a dimension which is rooted in an elevated vibrational consciousness. And it's a higher state of consciousness than we have been used to experiencing in our third dimensional reality. The third dimension being a matter-based you know, materialistic thing orientated dimension. And it has a different quality again from the fourth dimension, which we have been being affected by, by a long time now, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, because the fourth dimension is basically mass consciousness. It's our thoughts and um, it's quite a dualistic state of being. So the fifth dimension is an altogether different state of being. And you really want to try, if possible, to begin to spend more and more time in the fifth dimension if you can. Because being in the fifth dimension is like being in heaven, basically. It's like being in heaven on earth. And it's the most extraordinary, happy, beautiful, easeful place to be ever. And what's happening is, is that as a species, many of us now are beginning to slip in and out of the fifth dimension, consciously or unconsciously. And what I'm going to explain to you now is sort of six ways that you can tell that you have slipped into the fifth dimension, or if you're consciously trying to get there, how you know that you've arrived there. And so in order to begin to understand this, you really need to get that fifth dimensional reality is a heart-centered, present moment, aligned state of being. And what happens when you slip into the fifth dimension is that you begin to experience the truth of who you are, which is love. You as unconditional love. And what happens when you slip into the fifth dimension is you line up with yourself, you align with your soul so that you begin to think and feel from your heart center and it's like you align with your spirit and your body and everything sort of comes into this focused place within your heart center. So all of your actions and thoughts and your energy and your whole state of being becomes heart centered and very present moment orientated. And so the first way that you can tell that you have slipped into the fifth dimension is that you come into something which is called the flow state. Now, you know, over the last, you know, few hundred years, people have been accessing the fifth dimension and books have been written about the flow state. You know, whole documentaries have been done on it. It's the most incredible state of being. And what happens when you're in the flow state is everything in your waking experience just Everything that you need just flows to you with the most divine, precise timing. So everything just becomes easy and living is effortless. So in a way, you become limitless. You, you just don't limit yourself to the potentials of divine source consciousness coming to help you in every single second. And it's the kind of state of being that um, um, Usain Bolt is in before he runs his 100 meters, you know. The flow state is when you are just so aligned and connected to source that you just are. You're just so in the present moment that it just, everything just beautifully unfolds for, for you. So if you find yourself in that state of being, you are in the fifth dimension, you're in it, and you wanna stay in it as long as you can. 
So another way to understand when you've slipped into the fifth dimension, you know, way number two, is that basically time loses its linear quality. Now, time, linear space and time is something that we're very accustomed to in third and fourth dimensional reality because we've used time as a measure because those dimensions are all about polarity. They're about measurement in contrast, right, wrong, negative, positive, up, down, heavy, light, all of those kind of things. We've been learning who, are, who we are through contrast. And linear space and time was a way for us to kind of develop ourselves in a sort of conscious flow of learning. But what happens when you hit the fifth dimension is linear space and time just doesn't exist. It only exists in the third dimension. It just doesn't exist in other dimensions. And so what happens is you begin to understand that time, space and time, is malleable. And I'll give you an example of this. My meditation group, we meet twice a week. And what we've noticed over the last year is that every time we come together, time just seems to stand still. It's like we can get everything done that we want to do. And no matter how long it takes, it doesn't take any time at all. And I'll give you an example because yesterday we met up for meditation and my group arrived. We all, we all had a cup of tea. We sat and we chatted for ages about what's been going on in our lives because it's really interesting every week. And then we did two really, you know, in-depth meditations. And then we all had another cup of tea and started chatting randomly about loads of stuff. But when I looked at my watch, only 55 minutes had passed and it had felt to all of luck to all of us that we'd been there for about four hours and that's what i mean and also what happened to me yesterday because i think i was just in the fifth dimension for like nearly the whole day was that i had you know a million things to do at least i had a really busy day just so many things that i had to sort out but because i was in the fifth dimension i was in a heart-centered present moment state of being i was really enjoying every single thing i was doing it didn't matter if i was washing the floor or doing my marketing or making a video whatever i was doing you know the school run i was just so heart aligned that i was enjoying every moment and I got everything done. I don't even know how I got all of that stuff done. And time just seemed to bend itself to my will, if you like. So that's the second way that you know that you have slipped into the fifth dimension. Time begins to lose its linear form. And that's because the fifth dimension is a dimension in which we as a species are going to begin to lose our matter-based forms. Because... So what happens with all of all of the dimensions is that they sort of work in layers. And I think what's going to happen is as we move through the layers of the fifth dimension, we're going to lose our form and we're going to become light beings. But that could take, you know, thousands of years or none <laughs> because time is malleable. OK, so the third way that you know that you have slipped into the fifth dimension, you start manifesting. And this is so fun. Instantaneously. It's like instant and um, it's so basically the moment you've thought and felt a desire for something it arrives bang the other day i manifested a tumble dryer in three minutes it was just crazy and the reason that this happens like this is because you've got to understand that when you're in fifth dimension you're so in the present moment that you literally let go of all of your conditioned fear states of being and you don't have any of those worries from your future either you're just in the present moment and because you're in the present moment you are utterly heart aligned because obviously you have to understand that when we're in the third dimension learning how manifestation works what happens is because of our conditioned beliefs we're often in op opposition um to what we think we want we might have we, we often have opposition to it so we think we might want to you know win the lottery but actually we have conditioned beliefs that we're unworthy and so we're always working in that polarity because that's what the third and fourth dimensions are about they're about experiencing and embracing polarity but when you move into the fifth dimension you are so heart aligned that the minute you think something there's no way that you can be in opposition to it because there's no 
resistance because you're in your heart and there's no resistance so you can't in a way harm yourself or anyone else with your desires and that's why we had to learn manifesting in the third dimension with the time lag because coming into the fifth dimension there's no time lag because your heart centered but there's no past or future either so you don't have any of that emotional baggage that you're bringing with you and so you think and feel something and bang it arrives so it's incredible and what happens when you're in the fifth dimension is you're starting to think and feel well you are thinking and feeling in terms of the whole not just in terms of yourself selfishly and i don't mean that in a judgmental way it's just that the third and fourth dimensions are about the self and the fifth dimension is about the whole because when you come into heart-centered alignment you realize that you're connected with everything so you would just never think to manifest something that could be detrimental to you or anyone else it just doesn't occur to you in this state of being so that's the third way you know that you have landed in the fifth dimension now the fourth way you know that you have landed in the fifth dimension is everything comes into sharper more beautiful focus and what i mean by that is that the things that you look at seem to be more vibrant and more colorful and more pure and in a way more real it's like you were just dreaming your life until you got into the fifth dimension and then everything just takes on this sort of sharper focus. So when I'm walking around my garden and I've landed in the fifth dimension, the flowers and the colors and the grass just look extraordinary. They look so bright. It's just amazing, almost like a cartoon. And what I've also noticed is that I'm seeing more and more new shades of colors. And what I imagine is gonna happen the more time I spend in this dimension, the more I you know, go more deeply into it, is that I'm going to see new colors that I haven't even dreamed of yet. So, and it's the same with things that you hear. So when I'm walking around in my garden I, and I hear bees buzzing or insects or things like that, they, I just, it's like I can feel what they're feeling. They're in really sharp focus for me and I feel very connected to them. And then when you meet another person and you're both in the fifth dimension, that's amazing because what you're doing is you're meeting people in total heart-centered alignment without any agenda and you can be completely who you are. You are allowed to be fully expressed and you don't judge yourselves, yourself and because everything's essentially a mirror, no one's judging you either. So it's extraordinary because what happens in third and fourth dimensional reality is whether we're conscious of it or not, we're walking around with these kind of agendas because we're desperate to be loved. So we, we create these sort of things to make people love us, you know, and that all falls away in the fifth dimension. So there's no agenda at all. And it's just amazing when you meet people who are, you know, on that vibration as you, it's just an extraordinary meeting of hearts and minds. So that's the, I've, I've, lo I've lost my thread now, is that that's the fourth way that you know that you've um, fallen into the fifth dimension. And then the fifth way that you know that you've fallen into the fifth dimension is that basically things that don't serve you seem to disappear. It's just kind of very strange. It's like you lose the memory of things that weren't serving you. And this could be anything. It's anything from like poor eating habits to traumas or difficulties that you faced. It's like um, bills. I mean, this literally happened to me. It's like, a. so what happened to me was basically I've been paying this bill, a big bill over the last um, six months. You know, I pay, pay for it every month. And I was looking at my bank statement and I was in the, in the fifth dimension the other day when I happened to be looking at my bank statement and basically this bill just disappeared. And I was looking through my bank and I could never, I couldn't see any record that I'd ever paid this bill. I couldn't even find any record that it had ever existed. And the thing is, is that I can't even remember what the bill was, who it was for. Okay, I mean, obviously I know I was spending the bill on doing something for the treat, but it's like my memories got confounded and 
I know that there was a bill, but I can't remember who it was for or who it was to. It's literally disappeared out of my bank account. And I've heard of this phenomenon happen happening to other people. I've heard that they received a huge lump sum of money, lump sum of money into their bank account. And they knew that they hadn't had it there before. And when they went to go and find out where it had come from, it was like it had always been there. And so what happens is, is you do, and that was great, by the way. So um, what happens is you kind of, things that haven't been serving you just disappear. It's like you walk into a new country and you leave everything from the old country behind. And... This is because, again, you're in the present moment and you're in a heart-centered alignment. So there's so much trust and faith in every moment that your reality is just completely changing. You're in a high vibration where low vibrational things can't touch you. And it's really weird when your memory kind of goes like this, but it's also really good as well. So you're like creating a new reality for yourself. So that's the fifth way you know that you've slipped into the fifth dimension because things that don't serve you just sort of disappear. And the last way, the sixth way you know that you've entered the fifth dimension is that you find yourself in the most joyful, grateful, emotional state of being that you've ever felt in your life for no reason. So it's like you've won the lottery all of the time. That's what it feels like. It's like you've won the energy lottery. And that state of joyfulness is a very playful state. It's like you're a kid again. And for me, I'm really enjoying this emotion because I was always actually quite a serious child. And what's happening to me is I'm just becoming more and more playful the more and more time I spend in the fifth dimension. And everything I look at just makes me feel grateful. You know, even just looking at this phone, I'm grateful for it. You know, I just feel grateful for everything, every leaf, every blade of grass, everyone who comes in to contact with me when I'm in the fifth dimension just gets an, an enormous beaming hug and they don't really know what's going on. So that's the last way that you know that you have fallen into the fifth dimension. And obviously, as I've explained, the fifth dimension is a state of consciousness. It's a state of being. And now I'm going to tell you how you get there. So the way you get into the fifth dimension is by dropping your conscious awareness into your heart center. That's it. It is so ridiculously simple. And it's been a truth that humanity has known about for thousands of years, but it's like we have never really understood the depths of that truth. You know, it's that whole thing of you have to go within to change the without. And literally your heart is the doorway into the fifth dimension. And there are so many methodologies for dropping into your heart center. You know, just on my channel, I've got about three, go and do Tibetan heart meditation, you know, or if you don't want to do that, all you've got to do is you've got to spend time dropping your awareness into your heart center and then just breathing in your heart center. You breathe as if the breath is in your heart. And then what you do is you add gratitude or joy or an elevated emotion to that breath. And it brings you into a state of being, which is a high vibrational state and aligned with fifth dimensional living. And that's all you need to do. So that's the door to get there. So even if you only manage to stay in the fifth dimension for three minutes at a time. That's fantastic. Keep doing that. And what will happen is, is that the more you drop into your heart center and the more time you can spend in the fifth dimension, the easier and easier it's going to be for you to make those times more extended. And what's happened with me is that you know, I started really working with my heart center about a year and a half, two years ago. I started really incorporating it into my meditation practice. And, you know, if I could stay in the, f I didn't know I was in the fifth dimension in the beginning. Now I understand what's going on. But if I could get to that elevated heart centered state of being for two or three minutes, I was really happy. And what's happened is the more I've done it, the longer I can sustain that state of being. And what's happening to me now is that when I fall into fifth dimensional reality, I can sustain that sometimes for like, 
a whole day and a half. And the gaps between the time that I'm in there and when I'm not are getting shorter and shorter. And I'm also beginning to experience some physical sensations, which is showing me that I have landed into the fifth dimension. One of them is that I have loads more energy. And another one is that I feel tingling in my heart center. It's almost like someone's put champagne bubbles in my heart center. And my whole energy field feels like it's tingling with excitement. And so that's a kind of physical, energetic way that I know that I've got into the fifth dimension. And what happens is if you spend time practicing by being in your heart, eventually what you're going to be able to do is to be in your heart center with your eyes open. So it's like you're living and breathing your life, but your kind of your consciousness has dropped into your heart center. And this is what mindfulness is. You know, I think this is what all the, you know, the monks were trying to tell us. If you drop into your heart and you're, if you live through that state of being, you shift into fifth dimensional living. And then once you've found yourself in the fifth dimension, you know, you've noticed one of the signs that you've landed there, then what you need to keep doing, this is what I do, is all the time that I'm in the fifth dimension because I'm trying to sustain it for longer and longer periods of time because it just feels so amazing and everything's going my way and everything's working out and I feel great. What I keep doing is I keep checking in with myself every few minutes. This is what I do. I'm like, am I in my heart center? And if I'm not, I start breathing, you know, and I'm becoming so merged with my heart center that I'm managing to stay in the fifth dimension for longer and longer periods of time. So there you go. That is what being in the fifth dimension feels like and how to get there. And once you're there to sustain that dimensional vibration. So I wish you loads of amazing heart-based experiences and keep breathing through your heart and keep trying. And you'll, you know, even if you're they're only there for a few minutes now. Keep doing it because you're going to get there for longer and longer periods of time because our species has elevated to such a state now that we have instant access to the fifth dimension. So thank you for listening. If you like this video, please like it. And if you would like to receive more videos and meditations every week for free, then just please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.